In this video, we're going to look at resistors that are connected in series and derive a relationship for uh, coming up with an equivalent resistance for two resistors in series or for n resistors in series. So our definition, our functional definition for devices connected in series is that they have the same current flowing through them. Thus, these two resistors are in series or are connected in series because the current I that flows through R1 has no place to branch but continues on through R2 also. Thus, the currents are the same. We say those two devices or those two resistors are in series. So the question then becomes, is there some equivalent resistance that those series resistors can be reduced to that would be equivalent to the R1 and R2 in series. In other words, by equivalence we mean that this source here, V sub S, would be the same source in both of these, and that in this equivalence circuit, the same current I would flow as flows here. To do that, let's start by writing a KVL equation around this loop here. So starting at this point, we'd have negative V sub S going in the direction of current flow, so the voltage drops, the voltage across R1 and R2 will both be dropping, they'll therefore be positive. We'll have plus R1I plus R2I, which brings us back to where we started, and the sum of those three voltages must equal zero. Now if we take V sub S to the other side as a positive and factor out I, we have then I times R1 plus R2 is equal to V sub S. Solving for I in this circuit gives us then that I is equal to V sub S divided by R1 plus R2. Now let's do similarly over here. We have that same voltage source will be negative V sub S plus I times R EQ brings us back to where we started with, so the sum of those two terms equals zero. Again, solving for I, we have then I is equal to bringing V sub S to the other side and then dividing by R E Q. We have the expression for I in our equivalent circuit. Now equating those two I's, we have then V sub S over R1 plus R2 is equal to V sub S over R E Q. And from thus it's obvious then, what we already intuitively understood to be true, that the equivalent resistance of those two series connected resistors is simply equal to the sum of those two resistances. And in fact, a similar kind of analysis would show us that if we had N of those resistors in series, R1, R2, R3, Rn, the equivalent resistance would simply be the sum of all those resistors 